13 inch NV KB Lake i7 7500U. This one is thin and light. They have two USB, two USB C, and two USB 3.0. I chose this one over the X360 is because I can put in here the Wi-Fi module DW1560. Today I'm going to show you how to boot this new HP BIOS that caused the kernel panic on Hackintoshes to boot straight from the UEFI. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to mount the EFI folder. You can use the uh, Clover, but I like to do this. So this is my EFI folder. So assuming this is your USB boot that is working. This is a clover that is working. So what you want to do is to open this and open this one and copy the clover this into the EFI folder of your laptop. So right now I copy it in here already. Okay. Now the important thing is this, you need two files. So you need these two files, it's called preloader.efi and also loader.efi. I will show you the link. So when you put it in here, Clover, so they already have the lo loader.efi. So now this is a tricky part. Originally in here, you will have a Clover x64.efi, right? But what you're going to do, you rename this one to the loader.efi. So this is actually the Clover x64.efi. And you're going to rename the preloader dot EFI to Clover X64 dot EFI. Okay? Beside that, on the boot here, this is the original window. You're going to take the boot from Clover and you put it in here and you rename this one into whatever. You also have to go to Microsoft boot and rename the boot FW2 FW-ORIG.EFI. Now that's the boot. So what happens is that when you change this, when the UEFI start to boot from the BIOS, they will go into the boot and they're going to load this one which is Clover. And then when it jump to Clover to load a Clover 64, it's actually it's a preloader.efi. And the preloader.efi actually load the loader.efi but actually this one was the original Clover x64.efi. <laughs> I hope you get that. <laughs> so, let's do it again. Boot here. This boot is from Clover. Microsoft here. Change this one 
originally boot mgfw to boot mgfw dash roig dot efi. Okay, that's number two. Number three, rename this one original. Okay, to loader dot efi. And then rename preloader.efi to clover x64.efi. Okay, so that's how it works.